Hey, it's Zeph, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Now, this is literally moments after the update came out, and I downloaded it. As you can see, we now have a new update number. This is the current update number. Now, to anyone that has not watched the first video of this series, what this is going to be is I'm going to be using this gigantic ship right here. It is a 200-part ship. Here's all the engineering stats. And I will be putting it on the launch pad, launching the thrusters, and then watching it explode. During all of that, I will be marking down the highest numbers in FPS I've seen, and the lowest numbers in FPS I've seen. I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say there is quite a big change. Something I also did not note last time is that the resolution is 1440. Not for the video, but for the game. Once the test is done, I will show you the results. Now. Let's get into it. Now, here is the results. Now, something I'm going to do since this is new is I'm going to compare the old one, which is on the right, with the new one, which is on the left. As you can see, we have higher peak frames per second in the newest update than we did in, well, day the day one patch. So, it's quite a good big difference but i feel like it's better if i show you both of the tests side by side uh in order for you to understand just how much the average the frames per second have gone up before i go here are my pc specs and now i'm going to leave you both of the tests the day one patch as well as the this newest patch side by side anyway love you guys and i'll see you